So uh, my work is aimed at trying to understand what goes right in the lives of young people. And what I've discovered is that every young person has strengths. And I've also discovered that if we're clever enough to find resources in the family, in the school, in the peer group, in out-of-school time programs that can promote those strengths and then align those strengths with the young person, we can make every young person more positive, thriving, uh, to live a better life. There are three things that if we put together, we can promote more positive development in every young person. The first is positive and sustained relationships with a caring, competent, committed mentor. Someone who will be there for the child no matter what they do. Yuri Bronfenbrenner once said that every child needs one person in their life who cares irrationally for them, who will do anything for them. And that is the most important asset that we can give young people. What should that mentor do? That's the second thing we've discovered. They should inculcate life skills, how to live a good life, what we need to do to, for example, have purpose, how to pursue those purposes effectively, and if we fail or our purposes are blocked because we're human, those things can happen, how to compensate effectively. So. We need to teach those life skills to young people. And then third, we need to give young people the opportunity to enact those skills in valued community, family, and school uh, activities. Uh, one of the things we found is that every young person, no matter who they are, no matter what their race, their ethnicity, their immigrant status, their gender, their ability status, every young person can be enhanced if we apply those big three characteristics that I've just mentioned. Every young person can do better in life if we focus on their strengths and apply those big three. So that anybody who says that there are some kids who are precluded from thriving because of who they are, by, because of their race, their gender, their ability status, their immigrant status, their sexual preference, Anybody who says that is either ignorant or just wrong. So uh, the 4-H study is the first study of its kind, which, what, what do I mean by its kind? A longitudinal study of a huge number, 7,000 kids across 42 states from grade 5 to grade 12. It's the first study of its kind to show that if you put the strengths of young people together with those three components of an effective context, you can promote positive development in every young kid. The other thing that 4-H showed, so that was, of the, of the 7,000 kids in the study, only 2,500 were from 4-H, but one of the things we found is that 4-H in particular promotes youth contribution to family, school, community, civil society. So if you want a young person to be a individual who will make a positive difference in their community, the best thing you can do is put them in 4-H.